Peggy 16. So for me, Ghost Recon Online is really about trying to capture what it feels like to be a Special Forces guy. For Ghost Recon Online, we set out from the get-go to create a game that focuses on team play. And when I say focuses on team play, we as designers focus on making team play easy. So the goal we have in Ghost Recon Online is that it's easier and more beneficial to play as a team than it is to play in a, as a lone wolf. And I think what we've achieved in Ghost Recon Online that is a bit different from everyone else is this whole idea of accessible team play. It's the feeling of playing in a team, the, the feeling you have from when you're coordinated with your teammates and you achieve something, but without actually having to go through the paces of quitting your job uh, or skipping school be practicing with clanmates 24 hours a day, be coordinating and drawing maps on the board of how are you going to approach the map. How do you, the, the question we ask ourselves is how do we bring that feeling from people who played in really hardcore clans and make that accessible to anyone, whether they're jumping in for an hour or whether they're jumping in for the whole day. Each character class has two different abilities that they can switch between during the game. Each of these abilities has key strategic and tactical differences in how they can be applied. Some are more offensive, some are more defensive. By using these abilities, players can affect the outcome of the match at critical moments and help their teammates. Oftentimes, uh, for example, uh, the Assault character, one of his abilities is the Blitz Shield. He pulls this shield out, he runs, his exoskeleton powers up, and he runs very quickly with a great deal of force through enemy combatants, knocking them to the ground and temporarily disabling them. We've already seen in our closed beta that other players will fall in line behind that blitzing player and clean up the bowling pins he's knocked down. Now this is just one example, but it's how we try to craft our, our abilities and our key gameplay elements to encourage and make it easy for people to work together. Now we've always had this idea in our head that we wanted to bring Ghost Recon back to its roots, which were originally on the PC platform, or even today, there's fan sites and forums of people who are still playing the original game. And with a free-to-play game, we really like the idea of being able to break down that barrier, where if I'm enjoying myself, an hour later some, one of my friends can come join me with the same kind of easy entry uh, flow that I had. And that makes free-to-play games very social by nature, and uh, really removes a lot of the stress of where do I spend my, my hard-earned money, where do I break open the piggy bank. I know I've been making games for years for different platforms, um, and I, but I myself, at, at my heart, I am a PC gamer. I, you know, playing Descent and Quake in the, in the old days. Um, for me, there's not a whole lot of things that need to be different between a console and a PC, but by approaching the development from a PC side, um, I really focus on um, responsiveness in the controls. So while a lot of people think of third-person shooters as clunky, but they look good, they, they, they sell this thing, we actually have a really good-looking third-person shooter that, um, that is really fluid and responsive to your motion. So it actually plays a lot like a first-person shooter. Any PC gamer out there would tell you, uh, the map is what makes that experience, right? And for me as a game designer and also as a level designer, it is half of my gameplay. So we're not trying to create, uh, you know, 10 different game modes for one map. Right now we're focused on one map, one game mode, uh, one flow that really, really is good and supports that. And I think that's a, a pretty big differentiator for us from lots of other games out there. They'll, they'll tout the 22 different game modes and they'll have six maps and you play all, and none of them necessarily play well. So by us focusing on our map design with one game mode, it actually allows us to achieve the best possible flow uh, and kind of team play that we can with that map design. From the quality of the controls, uh, the quality of the assets, uh, your characters in Ghost Recon Online, we want to build that high quality experience, an experience that, that doesn't feel like a free-to-play game, that just feels like a game. Because right now, in this day and age, that's what matters the access to a game that's fun, that you enjoy. Labels aside, that's what we're here to do, is create a game. Quality, engaging, fun experience you want to come back to.